Hi everyone, it's Kezia over here from Kezia's Corner and welcome to my channel. My name is Kezia and this is a space where I share all about makeup, beauty and all that jazz. So if you want to keep on watching, definitely press subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming to watch yet another video of mine. So today's video is going to be all about what I recently picked up from Lucy because all these products you can pick up from Lucy Makeup Store. I leave everything linked down below to their website. Basically, all the products are from Essence and Catrice and their collaboration yet again with Disney. So if you want to see how the products set it out, what I thought of them and how I finished with this look, then definitely keep on watching. And if you like today's video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. So if you want to keep on watching, then I'll just keep on watching and I hope you enjoy today's video. See you guys. Okay, so let's begin. I'm so excited to try out these products that have been waiting on my vanity like to be used in a while now. Basically, I've done my face makeup because I have no new products in relation to the face. I'm sorry, I just put on a pair of the Glamour Made nails and <laughs> I do a week with my short bleh nails. Since I work at the hospital, I cannot put on nail polish. So then when it comes to the weekend, I like putting these on. And I love using Glamour Made because you can use those sticker things. They won't damage the nail when you take it off, you know, as to example, when you apply glue. I'm just getting excited. If you wanna see what products I used to get this complexion, then check out the description box. Oh my god. So this is a mixture between Essence and Catrice because Essence and Catrice created another collaboration in relation to Disney. Wait a second, we can actually do something better. I actually put on my Disney ears. I haven't put them on since I went to France. Oh my days. Yeah, I'll just stay like this because it's only fair. So I am going to be wearing my Disney ears these are the ears I bought when I went to Paris and I had never gone to Disney before and so this is the first time I had gone to Disney. As I was saying, Disney and Catrice both collaborated with Disney and brought out different palettes and different products. Now, I've only picked up, I believe, one thing that was actually from Essence and then the rest are all Catrice products because I didn't quite like the palettes of the Essence and I kind of didn't want to buy too much products either. And these are the palettes that I picked up. Oh my goodness, they're adorable, aren't they? I mean, I really did try and limit myself on what I purchased. So these are the products that I really like. When I saw them, I was like, no, I need to get them. So these are the two palettes. Catrice did three and I believe Essence did three as well. This one is the one of Miss Bunny and this one is obviously the one of Marie. So, oh my God. So these are the shades of Miss Bunny. I was attracted to this palette because it had like a different color story to what I normally get. There's that like really bright blue and then there's like that orange and then there's like these duochrome shades as well. It was like, yes, of course I will get you because you look very unique. And then this one is of Marie. And Marie is like, I was very hesitant on getting this because I have, probably I have, you know, color stories of palettes like this. But I was like, hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. So this is Marie. Marie, as you can see, is more pink, more girly, like a pop of purple as well. We have some brown shades as well. And you can do everyday looks and then you can do pops of color looks as well. This is a very me palette and I was like, no, I need to pick it up even though I have palettes like this. I might do like a separate video or an Instagram reel maybe using Marie. But today I wanna use Miss Bunny because Miss Bunny is more unique to me in my collection. And let's just see what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take this shade first and this one is called Charming. I wanted this brush, an AOA Studio brush from Miss A, the E141 one brush oh dear we've creased I didn't set my concealer on my lids because I heard that you know you would be able to blend the eyeshadows even more that's why I did that maybe we can zoom you guys in you know my video experience turns into a Sunday with Kezia basically <laughs> but it blends in very nicely. I really like that. I absolutely adore Essence and Catrice. I think I'm a little bit more biased, 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 biased to Essence because Essence I've always had a place in my heart. I absolutely adore the brand and I've been using them ever since I was a teenager. And they were the first makeup brand that I ever dipped into. So, you know, they always have like that special place. And Kezia's heart. 
But then, yeah, I guess from Essence, it went into Catrice. And I used to actually view Catrice as like the adult version of Essence. That's how I used to see it. So we're going to jump in. I'm going to just grow into it because it's calling my name. To go into this one, which is called Strut. Because we're going to go Strut, Miss Bunny. <laughs> and I'm going to just place this, hopefully below the beauty shade. And let's just see how it blends in with it. And I like how it blended out as well. And it's... Like they're very pigmented and they're buildable. So I think sort of they're easy to use. Ooh, but that's pretty. What does Kezia do now? Let us see, let us see, let us see. I'm just taking this I Heart Revolution like blending brush. I'm gonna jump into this one, which is called Noticeable. So this one, which is called Noticeable. A lot of people I see kind of go first, go in first with the outer corner shade and then they kind of build on from that. I've done it before, I've done it in previous videos. Not a lot to be honest because this is my normal eyeshadow technique but I think I wish to kind of try that out again because it used to be quite a good technique as well. Ooh, but this shade is very good. Not too harsh either, very easy to blend. The shadows are quite easy to work with which I quite like. Ooh, look at all of a sudden we've got like so much going on. I'm just going to go in with the strut shade and we're just going to blend that out. Okay, so that <laughs> is what we have so far. You see my hooded eyes, I don't know, sometimes they confuse me. So what I'm gonna do now, I kind of just want to use this one which is called Flower, which is this one right here. It's a beautiful, beautiful, lilac shade. I think I'm going to just place this one which is called Hello which how sweet it has like a flower embossed on the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to place that over where we're going to place basically the Hello, sorry, the flower shade. We're just going to place that shade there. Okay, what I want to do is I'm actually going to wet the brush to see if we can get a bit more pigment of that purple shade. Okay, so the shimmer doesn't, I feel like they could perform a little bit better in my opinion. What I'm going to use is I'm actually going to use this one which is called Kiss, which is another purple shade and we'll just blend that together. I think I actually went over it with the flower shade and I think that actually made more sense. I guess I'll put something in my waterline. Um, I think I'm going to actually put strut in my waterline. Yeah, like that, it kind of joined in. We're in our corner, Actually, I'm actually gonna take this one, which is called spring, which is this light blue shade. And we're just gonna see how it tests out. I'm actually going to just wet my brush again. That's pretty. And the last shade I'm going to use as a highlight for my brow bone is this one which is called Eyelashes. How cute! I absolutely adore the names of these shadows. That's very pretty actually. I feel like the shadows tested out, like the mattes are absolutely great. I feel that they're very good matte shades. The shimmers, I felt like this one, especially the flower shade, I wish it performed kind of a little bit better. I feel like it wasn't as pigmented even when I wet the brush. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to wear number one, I have to do some mascara. I'm actually gonna use this one, Sensitive But Wow Mascara. really lengthens the lashes. So now we have our eyes done. Now we're just going to continue our makeup. I have some new face products as well. So these two are face products, which are from the Disney collection. And then I also have two things which they brought out separate from the Disney collection. Now I'm gonna take a moment to look how big this bronzer is. So this is the Catrice Maxi Matte face and body bronzer. So this is obviously a body bronzer as well that you can use for your body. This one is of Marie again, but it's like humongous. <laughs> like honestly, really, really big. I absolutely love how Marie is actually embossed in this 
bronzer. Do you see that Marie is there? Like she's right there. Oh, it's quite, quite light actually. Like, is it picking up any product? It's quite a very, 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 very lightweight, like bronzer. My goodness, it's like you don't pick up anything, but you do. You do pick up. <laughs> it blends in very nice, but it's very, 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 very light. And now this is the only one that I have from the Disney Essence collection. And this one is the Dumbo one. This is the Dumbo one, and it's like a maxi blush highlighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to apply this as my blush. As a highlight, I have something else I wish to try out, but I'm just gonna see how this applies. Oh, I think I did quite a bit. Oh, but that's so pretty. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. And I see, I see like that like hint of a glow, but not too much because I don't like too much like glow on my blush. Blush is absolutely pretty, blends in very nicely. I think for summer, having something like this for summer is really cute. Now I actually wanted to try out these two things as well, but we're only gonna try out one today. So this we have the Kissed by the Light, which is an illuminating powder, which is this one right here. I think this I would like use sort of as the whole trio in one. I think I would just apply it where I would apply bronzer. I don't know, I would love to just try this out, but I think this I will leave it for another look. So this, one, this is the one I'm gonna be using today. So this one is the Everlasting Blooms Duo Highlighter. Now I absolutely love Essence highlighters. So when I saw this, I was like, mm, we need to try this out. I need to mix both of the, the shades together and we're just gonna see what we're gonna build. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's really pretty. It's very subtle, guys. Very, very subtle. It's like very, very pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna build it up here. I'm gonna build it up here. But this is so pretty. I'm glowing, guys. Honestly, I'm glowing with the blush as well. Pretty. Yeah, I, they, these never disappoint me. They're face products. They have really good face products. And by the way, these are both Essence. Now I have a lipstick of the Catrice, and this one is one of Lady. So this is, I, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. And it just comes like that. Ooh, that is so pretty. There's like hints of gold in it, I feel. It's like a shimmer. Oh no. It's like a shimmer lipstick to it. And I love the packaging of it. These are the same packaging that they had done back with the other collection as well. So yeah, this is the finished look. I'm just gonna take off my ears now. Absolutely love how the eyeshadow came out. I, I do feel like I said that the shimmer shades were a bit lacking in pigmentation. I feel like that they can perform a wee bit better. But the matte shades were very good, very easy to work with, very easy to blend, very pigmented as well. I absolutely love the face products. If you go to buy anything, I would definitely recommend you guys the face products. The face products are never a miss, but with Catrice and with Essence, with Essence especially. So that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching me try out these products today for you guys. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.